Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United uh, Filch. Uh, she is part of the Star Raider collection, and um, you can see her clearly here. Uh, just a heads up, uh, when you get her uh, inside a piece of paper in the back, there are her uh, extra wings, so don't forget to check for those. Of course, she also comes with uh, instructions and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper, so remember, don't hurt yourself. And let's take a closer look at the box. Standard Legacy United box. Uh, they don't really, I mean, other than saying Star Raider, they don't really separate these out as being much different from any other box in the series, which was something they did for the Velocitron set, but they're just not doing it for this. But anyway, as you see, here's her and her two forms. And uh, that's just typical side box there, top box, nothing else going on. And now let's get her back over here. And I want to, before I start sticking the extra pieces on her, I want to show her mold made here. Uh, this is Air Razor. And uh, you can see uh, the similarities. You know, uh, she, she got more shin. That is, at least she got that with the little Star Raider badge there. But uh, you, you can see where it's coming from, basically. So, uh, yeah. A lot of similarities, but uh, I, I think she stands on her own as a decent enough character. And so with these wings here, you can do two things with them. You can stick them uh, on her arms. Let's see if I can. Like this, while she is in uh, bot mode, which gets you this look. Or you can attach them by uh, bending them. I think this is the... I have the wing on the wrong side, but I'll show it anyway. Uh, like this putting the peg through the hole here if it'll let me it's on a, a kind of a loose uh, joint there you go and you can get this type of situation going on so anyway while we have her like this let's take a look at her uh, and uh, we'll start up the front here so she is a Corva Knight or something like that Corva Knight it's a Pokemon's name uh, but um, She's she's kind of like a raven or a crow or something, and I think that's the whole inspiration behind her. Um, she's a lot more purple in person than she is on camera, but uh, does a decent job of mimicking the look she had during the uh, R.I.D. 2015 series. So I think it's a pretty good job here. Let me see if I can pull out the wingspan here. We can get that big wig span going. And, uh, yeah, so that is what she looks like in her bot form. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. the head is on a ball joint. I was just checking because, yeah, it's a ball joint. Because uh, I think that's what her um, Ares and Pterosaur are, too. A Pterosaur are also another one that shares this mold. So I guess since we already have the wings in place, let's just convert her. And the first step is... Let's spread this out. Let's separate the tail here and uh, make sure this is loose. Uh, we, as like we turn the feet around, I think we can do that now. I don't know exactly the difference here because I feel like because in in the box she is set up like this, um, which technically I think she's supposed to be. And let me. Double check something. Yeah, she's uh, supposed to be. I'm going to show Air Razor again. Uh, kind of lower like this where the beak is right below or right above the pelvic area. So um, maybe a little further down. Because if you make sure this is all loose when you pull it out, there's actually an additional joint. Yeah, so this is more accurate. Um, I'm going to turn her feet back around to show this. This is probably where her beak is supposed to be. Uh, in comparison to her waist. But anyway, we're going to go to uh, bird mode. So we're going to double joint that up. As you see there, this, that's the joint. And uh, we're going to take the arms. And they fold twice. So we're going to fold at the wrists. And we're going to straighten the arms. And uh, they go inside her waist there and then we can fold out the head let's make sure this is pulled out flip it about so 
as you see we're doing that here. I was wondering, does the mouth open? No, the mouth doesn't open. Although this is a cool looking face. Anyway, um, as I was saying before, feet. Uh, so the legs, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so there is a piece up here. There's a peg and a slut and they have to go in here. And um, I swear that, hmm, anyway, back to what we're doing here, erg. Get the wings up, ooh, a little squeaky. Let's get just out of the way here. Turn the knees. Dude, I turned the knees too far. There we go. Come on, there we go. It's not, um, it doesn't seem to be as smooth as uh, Wind Razor. Although, it might be because, hmm, I don't know why. Is, maybe the legs are on, oh, no, there it goes, okay. I was going to say, maybe the legs are on wrong, but uh, not the case. Here we go. I got this, Put the tail down, okay. And make sure the wings go all the way out, very squeaky. There we go, okay. I don't hate it. Okay, let's put this back through. Adjust the legs. Can we get her to stand? Yes, we can. Look at that. That is a lot of dark on dark here. <laughs> Sorry for the color. Uh, but uh, look at her, man. That is fantastic. A little bit more fidgety than um, Air Razor. But, I mean, the results are there. Look, just that wingspan is bright. And then you can even... Because it's on an easy peg, you can make it go out even more. It's just uh, fantastic. This reminds me of a bird I had um, for He-Man. It was actually Skeletor's bird. It looks just like this. I forget the bird's name. It's probably something evil. But uh, yeah, that is fantastic. And, and that is felt right there. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.